going on everybody? How are you doing today? I have to speak a little loud. Uh, right beside a very, very big freeway. There's a lot of construction going on. I'm here in Katy, Texas, suburb of Houston, and it's just very, very loud. I'm here today to talk about Jason David Frank, one of the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. And in 2022, this is where he lost his life. We're gonna go inside. I'm gonna take you in, show you what I can show you inside the hotel. And then we're gonna go to the gravesite of Jason David Frank, which is Brookside, I believe, uh, Brookside Cemetery. And we're gonna meet a viewer there who's a huge Power Rangers fan and knows a lot about the Power Rangers, but especially Jason David Frank, huge fan. And we'll pay tribute to Jason there and talk about more about what happened to him. All right, but for now, let's go inside and then we're gonna go visit Jason's final resting place. So I've made it to Brookside Cemetery here in Brookside, just outside of Houston, well, part of Houston. A little confusing in all these suburbs, but thankfully I have a local that's helping me out, a longtime viewer of my channel, and also someone who is a huge, huge fan of the Power Rangers and knows a lot more about them than I do. This is Melanie. Hi, everybody. This How are you? Melanie with a Y. <laughs> yes. <laughs> now, Melanie, I'm gonna turn the camera on you for a moment, and uh, we're gonna talk about Jason David Frank and talk about the Power Rangers. Yes. Uh, you're from the area. I am. You know, uh, you know it well. You know a lot better than I do. <laughs> and uh, you got two little girls. Yes. Husband. Yes. Living the life here in Texas. Yes. Very happy, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Two adorable little girls. Oh, thank you. Yes. Okay. <laughs> now let's talk about uh, one of your favorites. You've got a lot of stuff that yes. has to do with them. Yes. Wow. <laughs> so, Melanie. What exactly? I know what this is, but why don't we explain what this is? Okay, so Jason David Frank, of course, was part of the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, and he played the Green Ranger and the White Ranger. He played all sorts of the Rangers because it's that talented. Right here, I've got the helmets. It. <laughs> I actually got it from an auction. I can't exactly remember how much it was, but it was pretty expensive. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't have authenticity, but yeah, here right here is the uh, White Ranger's helmet. So, oh, this is the White Ranger's helmet. Yes. Oh, wow. Uh -huh. Yes. So, not only are you a huge Power Rangers fan, but he, he was your favorite. Uh, one of my favorites. One of your favorites. Yeah, my other favorite was the Red Ranger. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. Now, it's a, it's for, I, I did a video on Twee Trang. Uh, Twang. Yes. Twee Trang, right? Yes, Twee yes, Trang. Yes, the Yellow Ranger. Yellow Ranger, oh, yes. Yeah. Did a video on her. She's um, Rose Hill Cemetery in Los Angeles. Mm -hmm. Outside of Los Angeles. And um, I said on that video, I don't, I miss the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers mm -hmm. craze. You know, I knew it. I knew about it, but mm -hmm. I think I was a little too, I think I was older. Mm -hmm. But I know all about it. I know that he's hugely popular. The show, I mean, it's the movies, it's a. Uh, what do you call it? It's just... It's like a franchise. Yeah, it's yeah. basically known as franchise, the series. They have, like, Power Rangers, Mighty Morph, Power Rangers Turbo. They have Zero. The, he's got the uh, White Ranger, uh, Jason David Frank, uh, played the character Tommy Oliver, which was right. the White Ranger. And he, uh, he basically made his own series. He started out as a Ranger in, back in 90, uh, 94. And... Actually, he's tracked that 92, and he, uh, for 10 years, 
and then he left for a, but then in in the 10-year reunion he decided to get everybody else together again for another uh, Power Ranger uh, show and they uh, basically had another re a little reunion together and he had a series he had a, he uh, got got everybody together except of course the Yellow Ranger who passed away right and then actually I found that his younger brother was in one of the um, episodes of Power Rangers as well, who passed away in 2001 from a illness. Oh, I didn't and, know that. Yeah, I didn't know that either. Oh. And so um, he, that's also why Kate probably left, is because his, you know, his brother passed and no yeah. one, and it was hard on him, you know? And that yeah. was actually one of many losses he had in his life. Wow. So, and yeah. 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 So you've got something special, besides the t-shirt. Yep. Awesome. Yes, oh, thank you, yes. Yeah. What do we have here? Wow. A picture and autograph of David. Oh, Jason David Frank. Incredible. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> yeah. I need to get eliminated. Yeah, you, gotta, you gotta get that framed. Yes, absolutely. This is, it's been just sitting here up high in my closet. That way my kids can't get it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's beautiful. Thank you. My husband actually, uh, we got an auction as well. And um, I was like, oh, I, we got to snag that. And we did and lucked out. And That's great. So I. So you've got the t-shirt, yes. the helmet. Yes. And, and the picture. And I got action figures at home. I've got yeah, I've got uh, cups at home. I did not open them. They're still up at high in my closet. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so I got like a whole collection of it. Oh, I've even got uh, the Green Ranger sword. I oh, got wow. the sword. I should have brought that, but I got no room. So, but yeah, I got the sword, and that's yeah, it's hanging high. I got, I got to say, guy, I've been requested to visit Jason David Frank quite a bit. Yeah, I get it once or twice a week at least, and. You and I have talked for a while. You've been a regular viewer, and yes. you're always so sweet. Oh, thank and you. you always wanted to do a video. You wanted to come on my channel. I said, of course. But how ironic that the one that we're doing, I, I had no clue until last night how big of a fan you were. <laughs> yeah. I did not know that. I thought you, I thought yeah. we were just doing a video on Jason David Frank. Yes. But you're actually like a huge fan. Yeah. Yes. So oh, it's yes. perfect. Since I was three years old, actually. Since you're three years old. Yeah. I actually got introduced by, this is kind of a sad story, but I got introduced by my best friend of 22 years before he passed in 17. I'm sorry. And he, it's okay. And he um, told me, have you ever heard of the Ranger, Power Rangers? I said, no. So we got together and we started watching and I became hooked. Right. <laughs> I was watching the series. And then when the movie came out, have you seen the movie? Mighty Morphin No, Matters? I have not. Well, you got to see it. It's really, really good. It came out in 95 and it's one of those that never gets old. You can watch it over and over and over again. How many times have you seen it? Too many times, <laughs> so I watch it like every chance I get. Especially if I'm thinking about my best friend, I'm like, I'm gonna turn on Brian right now. Well, so. let's take a walk over now. You ready? Yeah. Yes, I'm okay. so ready. Okay. Yes. So we're walking uh, toward Mr. Frank's grave, and um, he was a mixed martial artist yes. as well. Yes, and he taught karate and he taught shizutsu at uh, at the Rising Sun Karate Place right. in um, Humble, Texas, and. I like, like I was telling, like I was telling Scott before. If only I knew he taught karate, I'd totally go there. Right. Because <laughs> I was in karate for a while when I was little, and I wanted to get into black belt. Because he was third degree black belt, everything. Yeah, he had a black belt. I know. I was reading. I, like yeah. in every type, like so many different types of martial arts. Yes, and he was an MMA fighter, and he never lost not once really. Right. But he got injured, and that's what had to make him quit. Oh, that's why he quit. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Yeah. So. Okay. Do you know anything about his early life growing up? Yes, I do. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, he was actually born in uh, Colliver, uh, California. Okay. And uh, September 4, 1973. So his birthday just passed this past month. It did, yeah. And he, um, I thought he was born here in Houston, but no. He was born in California. And when he, he was a teenager, he became a model for uh, all of Yeah, he was a child actor. Yes. And he was on The Price is Right yes, as well. I yes. read that. Okay, go I, on, sorry. I, no, you're good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's what, I was like, what? I didn't know any of this until just recently. Yeah, I did, did I say child actor? Child model. Well, he, child yeah, he model, yes. yeah. Uh-huh, yeah. And then he was on The Price is Right in, 19, in 1992. And then that's when he became like after that 
that's when he became Tommy Oliver and his career just took off. Of course. Yeah. Now, and he did a lot of conventions. Yes. He signed everything for everybody. Now, yes. I know a few people that live and work in the convention world, and they said he was one of the nicest, most down to earth uh, celebrities. That he, he talked to everybody, he took did. photos gladly. Yes. Now, what is his connection to tech? Why Texas? Do you know? No, I was researching that everywhere. I want to say his. Um, wife Tammy lived here? Okay, that might be it. Yeah. Probably. Yeah. Because normally if you're from wherever you're from, mm -hmm. as I always say, we all go back to where we belong. Like mm -hmm. you'll be, you know, you're usually buried there. Yes. Like so I would have thought California. Me too. Yeah. But, okay. But, it, it sorry? Especially since his brother Frank was buried in California. Oh, yeah. 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 So, but his wife, his wife and how many kids did they have? They had, okay, his first wife, is her name was Shauna, which is cool because that's my mom's name. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and uh, she, they had, three kids together and then his last his uh, uh other wife his second wife tammy they had one kid together they okay had a so he had four in total mm -hmm. so yeah if his family's if his kids are here yeah. is his first wife from texas too uh, no, no 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 okay but his second wife so she's gonna bury him close exactly yes okay. uh -huh. let's find mr frank now i know it's a flat headstone and uh, it actually is identical to my parents, when I looked at I normally don't look at headstones before I come out because I just see them, but I, when it was flat, I was like, okay, I could have some problems finding it. Right. When they're, because I've had the difficulty before. When I saw it, I was like, wow. Same as my parents, so it's like this. So it's right around here somewhere. Let's find Mr. Frank, who the pair respects. So Melanie, as a viewer, you're now seeing that it, even if you have a pin, it can be difficult, right? It's, <laughs> we're right near, Jason's grave, but we cannot quite find him, but we will. We just got to keep looking. Remember that big cross. Okay. So, um, Melanie, we were in completely the wrong section. Yes. Now it's listed on finery that he's in Resurrection Garden. That is where we are now. So we had to go and check with the office. The pin on Find the Grave takes you to a completely different section where we just were. Yes. This is the same cemetery. As you can see, it's a little more open, a little more green. Looks to be newer graves. He should be right up here. Now, it shouldn't be too far in. I think he is right here. Yes. Here he is. Jason D. September 4th, 1973, November 19th, 2022. Dad, always my teacher, forever my hero, now my angel. It says, sorry? They got Green Rangers right yeah. here. <laughs> Green Rangers, and it's got Frank is written underneath here. And there's his wife, Tammy C. Mom, always my heart, forever my hero, now my angel. And I know you brought something, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, Papa Rock too. Wow. I actually always wanted to see this. Yeah. And they they actually had his funeral, held his funeral at the at his karate place. Oh, they did? Yeah, and they broadcast it on YouTube, and I watched it, and it was like, it, of course, it was really sad. Yeah. But I just couldn't believe it. So, he, yeah, he, uh, September 4th, he turned 51. 51. He died at 49. Right. Way too young. Way too young. Wow. That's a show. You never know what somebody's going through. That's right. Mm -hmm. They could have everything they ever wanted and then some, and that they're, you know, deep down, something maybe feels like it's missing. I don't know. And coming from experience, I've had a couple of people where the same thing has happened that I know of, and uh, they were just like him very friendly, very outgoing, very sweet, very nice. And they were funny too. It, you just and all of a sudden got that phone call, and I'm like, "What? I just yeah. talked to them yesterday. Yeah. They seem just fine." It's just it crazy. It's crazy. Depression um, is depression can be well hidden to people who aren't paying attention, or people who may not. That's not the right thing to say. Not paying attention. You can be paying attention, but you. Some people hide it. 
you know? Yeah, and actually, uh, this is kind of personal too, but coming from personal experience, I've actually uh, kind of have it, had it off and on all my life. Right. So I can actually relate um, to, you know, people being kind of like in a dark place, you know? Yeah. Um, of course, uh, you know, I've gotten help with it, but even sometimes with help, it, it, it's kind of... I don't know. It's it, hard. Yeah, exactly. It's very hard. Um, so, Melanie. Yes. Let's get into a little bit about how he, uh, the last night of his life. Let's be, we're going to have to be some, uh, YouTube is very careful about yeah. how you say things. Right. Um, and also, his wife, they were separated at the time but they were trying to reconcile and i know that online as you and i were talking she got a lot of mean comments and nasty things written to her that is her fault source of things which is completely horrible i think we'll just leave it at um they were trying to reconcile they were staying at a hotel not too far from here 30 minutes and she was knocking on his hotel room door they they had possibly had some arguments that day at the hotel, but they had also made up. Yes. She had gone to the lobby to get some snacks. Mm -hmm. She came back, was knocking on his door. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm talking all. I'm just trying. No, I, I just I want to make sure I, I worded right because of the way YouTube is now, Absolutely. which is fine, you know. But there's words you cannot say. When she came up, he didn't answer. Yeah. Uh, people heard the ruckus. Somebody she has, she some somebody called security mm -hmm. front desk. They came in. They broke the door down. Mm -hmm. He was no longer with us. Yes, exactly. By his own doing. Yes, exactly. Uh, and that is tragic and sad and heartbreaking. One of his close friends actually um, said that he was facing depression almost all his life. All his life. All his life. And um, he even talked to him. It never said the name of the friend. But he even talked to him a few times about it and how like he had all this all this fame, all this fortune, all these good fans, all these good friends and family, and he still felt alone. Yeah. And still felt alone. Yeah. That's unbelievable, yeah. right? And I just, yeah, that, that that broke my heart when I read that, and yeah. especially with a, me being such a huge fan, I actually always wanted to be him too, and he was supposed to actually have another tour right before he died. Right. And I think one of the stops was here. Was here. <laughs> yeah, it is sunny. Now, right behind us, right back there, straight back is the entrance. That's where you're going to come in, drive all the way to see that big white cross right there. That is your what you're going to be looking for in the resurrection garden. You'll find Jason David Frank. Melanie, you are full of information. You're a huge fan of Jason. Uh, thank you. You knew so much. Oh, thank you. <laughs> you know, I did a lot of reading, a lot of research. I'm sorry if I interrupted you at all no. with that, whatever I had to say, but you knew it all. Oh, thank you. <laughs> um, I think we covered his life and uh, his tragic ending, and we wish his family uh, peace. And thanks for coming. Thank you. Thanks for watching, everybody. Rest in peace, Jason David Frank. Peace.